Hello and welcome to Sorofsis classes. Here in this video, I am going to solve the paper of IIT Jam Mathematics for the year of 2018. So the question is the particular integral of a differential equation of like this is equal to this. So which would be the correct answer? So we have the question as y double prime y prime 2y e e to the power x. Now we can write pi equal to the difference operator obviously it is of order 2 plus t plus 2 y so we can write like this because this is the difference operator so when multiplied with this it's it will become y prime double prime equals to e e to the power x now this part just do a simple you know middle term factor which will be 2 plus 1 d plus 2 y e e to the power x so the factor will be d plus 2 times d plus 1 e e to the power x now this is equals to this times y so y equals to e e to the power x by d plus 2 times d plus 1 now we, we just can take this part out and can write it like this e e to the power x now here we, there is a trick so the formula is d plus a times x equals to e to the power minus a x to the power a x x dx so here for our sum x equals to e e to the power x and a equals to 1. So from this part the formula will be d plus 2 here and then e to the power minus x integration e to the power x then put the value of x which is e e to the power x then dx. Then after this just we have this. Now for, there is another formula which is f prime x integration of f prime x e to the power fx equals to e to the power fx. So here for our sum, so this part is basically, so this part is fx. So clearly this part is f prime x. So we can apply this formula over here and then in the next step we can write this equals to e to the power ex. So we are basically using this formula in this step and using this formula from here so after we have done it so this part so in the next part again we are using this formula from here to here so here just a equals to 2 so using this it will be like 2x integration 2 to the power x e to the power minus x e to the power e minus x dx so then we have e to the power 2x again using the first second formula so we have e to the power x e to the power e x dx and then e to the power minus of 2x e to the power e e to the power x so finally e to the power e to the power x so e to the power e to the power x times e to the power 2x this is the answer now for this question let g be a group satisfying the property that f is mapped uh, f is a function which is mapped from g to z z 221 is a homomorphism implies that function of g equal to 0 when g belongs to capital g is a possible group of g and these are the possible options so which one will be correct now the number of homomorphism number of homomorphism homomorphism from Zn to Zm so clearly the condition is GCD of n comma m must be equals to 1 so GCD so our m equals to 221 so n comma 221 must be equals to 1 now we have to check all this for each of this option so now for 221 we, we can divide factor it out into this for 21 so when n equals to 21 so obviously it is 3 times 7 so the gcd 
of 21 and 221 is actually equals to 1. Now for 51 it is 3 times 17. The GCD of 51 and 221 is not equal to 1. For 91 it is 7 times 13. The GCD of 91 and 221 is also not equal to 1. And for 119 which is 7 times 17 the GCD of 7 comma 17 is also not equal to 1. So the only possible option is option A. So option A is the correct answer. So for the next sum we have I is a identity matrix. So the roots of the polynomial are something like this. The matrix is M. So we have to find image. So let us start the sum. So we have this. So just take square first. So we are getting square in both sides. So we have 1 plus minus root 5 by 2. So again we can take another square. Just you know change the side of it. Take the advantage of it. So we have this. Yeah. So we can always write it as i square in terms of i square. Because i is an identity matrix. We can always multiply it. So when we multiply this finally we have. So if we have i square over here, then we have, so it's i square times plus minus 5i square. So then if I again multiply it, then what we have? So it is 4, 4 to the power 4. Then we have, sorry, it's better to side change it first. So use the property that i square equals to i. So I don't I just want to free this term with the root part. So first do this. So do this and then you have this term alone with the i square part. Then just take the square in the both side. So we have 2m square minus i whole square times 5 i to the power 4. Now here we have 4 m to the power 4 minus 2 2 m square plus i square plus 5 i to the power 4. So basically we are using the property. Now i to the power 4 is also equals to i. i square is also equals to i. So 4 m to the power 4 minus 4 m square plus i plus 4 i. So just side change it and you will get the advantage of 4 i. So then we have m to the power 4 m square equals to 1. This is just a calculation. So you know we need to have m 8. So just free m 4 from here and do this. So we have m to the power 8 which is just a square of it plus 1 just a square of it. So we have m to the power 4 to m square plus i square which is equals to i. So basically, okay, now here use the trick. We already have the value of m to the power 4. So put the value over here. So it is just m square plus 1. So what we are finally having, we are having, I am writing it over here, 3m square plus 2i. So basically i square equals to i. So 3m square plus 2i. So this is the answer of the question. So for the detailed courses, study materials and online and live classes, you can call to this number and for other information, we can always check the, our website www.solopsisclasses.com. I hope the solve of this video will be helpful for your exam. Until next time, thank you.